In today's video, I review the Airport International V3 from Think Tank. So I've talked about this case quite a lot on the vlog and on the channel before, but it occurred to me yesterday that I actually haven't done an in-depth review of it as a piece of kit. So today I'm going to go through and give you an in-depth look at the case, what's good, what's bad, pros and cons, that kind of thing. For those of you who think about maybe buying one yourself. I picked up the Think Tank Airport International V3 back in late summer last year when I was looking for something more substantial to travel internationally with. My biggest concern was having something I could travel with to keep my camera gear with me at all times when flying and traveling and the Airport International V3 was the perfect candidate for that. If you've ever flown your gear anywhere, you'll know how stressful it is to ensure that your gear stays safe and then it arrives in the same destination with you hours later. I know too many photographers and videographers in sport who have flown their gear in the hold of a plane only to find when they land that it's not in the same destination. It wasn't even on the same flight that they were on. So the peace of mind of me having my camera gear with me at all times is second to none. I can literally step off the plane, lose all of the rest of my luggage and still be able to work and operate as a photographer. You can always buy new clothes when you're out in a foreign country, but it's really hard to replace camera gear. The beauty of the bag is that it will fit in an international standard overhead compartment on a plane. There's a couple of times on very small domestic planes where this isn't the case, but for the vast majority of the time, this baby fits in the overhead compartment above my seat. It's super sturdy and really, really well made. Here's some nice touches that I really personally like. The handle you use when you're pulling the Airport International V3 behind you is really well made. It sounds a bit silly, but some of the cheaper cases on the market have really flimsy handles, and so everything feels insecure when you're traveling with it. The external zippers are as tough as your mum's biscuits. I'm not particularly a strong person, but I've snapped enough zips in my time to appreciate a decent set of zippers when I see them. The Airport International V3 also features a TSA suitable lock for the zippers, which means you can secure the case from being opened if you need to, but it'll also leave the airport authorities the ability to get into your case should they need to in an emergency or security issue. It's also just really solid. Like fully packed, this thing is sturdy and secure and gives you the confidence to travel with it. With past cases, I've always been scared that they'll get battered around when I'm traveling, but I've never felt that way with the Airport International V3. Like a lot of modern day cases, the inside can be made to fit your own stuff with lots of interchangeable sections to it to help you set it up just the way you want. One of the reasons I went for the Airport International V3 from Think Tank over the other options was that with my kit in the case, there's also a space here at the top where I can put snacks and a hoodie and stuff like that. Once I've dropped my other bags at check-in at an airport, for example, I can survive easily just out of this case alone. I've put my pajamas in the top section of this before for overnight flights, I kid you not. Obviously, if you're working domestically with the Airport International V3, you can set the case up how you want to or do it just like this and use that compartment basically to stash a lightweight jacket or anything else that you really need. The only thing I don't like about this case is the external handle housing that's on the inside of the bag. I know it needs to be there, but it does limit you a little bit when you're trying to set the dividers up on the case for it to fit your gear as you need it. On the inside of the lid, you've got a bunch of internal pockets, which are great for holding stuff that you might need, like memory cards, earplugs, or the highly sought after World Travel on white arm sleeves. On the outside of the lid of the Airport International V3, it's got a really, really handy, massive external pocket. This perfectly fits my 13 inch MacBook Air as well as my notepad when I'm traveling. It will also take a tablet if you've got one like an iPad. I also keep my rain covers in here for quick and easy access when I'm on location. The Airport International V3 also has this really cool internal pocket which is perfect to fit a passport, a wallet or mobile phone so you can keep them more secure at all times. The Airport International V3 is literally one of my favorite pieces of kit that I own. It's perfect for what I do and how I work. I picked mine up from Harrison Cameras last year for around about £360. But since then, prices have really, really come down and Harrison's are actually selling this at the moment for £259, which is an amazing deal in my opinion. So there you have it. The Airport International V3 from Think Tank. Super piece of kit, 
absolutely amazing and one I really think anybody should look at if you travel any more than 15 minutes away from home in order to work. If you haven't already, take a second to hit subscribe so you'll get notified whenever I post up new videos. At the moment, it's about twice a week. You can also check out my work and interact with me more on Instagram. I'm at Ben Snapstuff.